In this video, I'm going to walk you through our Intro to Magic tutorial game. I'll show you how to use it and how you can remix it to make it your own. The Intro to Magic tutorial level walks you through many fundamental concepts of game development and shows you how they work in Dot Big Bang. Examples you'll see in this level include motion, collisions, sending events, using tags, and UI. You can view the code as you're seeing it work in action, and each script has detailed comments explaining every step of the way. You can play through and edit this level by going to our website, pressing Build Worlds, and choosing the Intro to Magic Starter Game. There's a link in the description that'll send you there. I'll be showing you how to use this tutorial. Here you'll see Pumpkin, our floating cat guide that'll lead us through the level. Each room has a different theme and will teach us a different concept. For example, this first room teaches you all about movement. When you find a behavior that you want to learn more about, you can click on the object and open up the entity panel. In this room, we can see a floating chair on the left. If we click on the chair and then open up the entity panel, we can see what scripts are attached to this object. I'm interested in learning about how the chair is moving, so I'll open up the quick start sign movement script by pressing the view code button. Now I can read the code that's making it move and the comments in the code that explain everything. You can do this with any objects in the level to learn more about them. The entity panel will show us everything attached to the object we're focused on, and will even show us values in the code that we can change on the fly. If we look at this mushroom, for example, we'll see that you can change the period and amplitude of its scaling in the entity panel. Let's see what happens when we change the amplitude. Many scripts in this game have exposed properties that you can change in the editor, so feel free to experiment and see what happens when you change these values. In addition to reading the scripts attached to the objects in this level, this level is the perfect place to start writing some scripts of your own. I want to add a new behavior to this ghost, so I'm going to write a new script for it. First I'll click on the ghost and open up the entity panel. Then I'll click New Script to add a new script. I'm going to base this new behavior off the quick start on trigger stay script that's already attached to the ghost. This time, I'm going to add some code that changes the scale of the ghost when I trigger it, which I learned all about in the movement room. Once I'm done writing my code, I can immediately see if it worked. Ta-da! Now my ghost lights up and gets wider when I trigger it. Now that I have my brand new script, I can add it to any object I'd like by clicking on the object, pressing Add Script, and finding that script that I wrote. After traveling through the level and learning all about collisions, triggers, sending events, using tags, on-screen UI, and more, you'll have a pretty good understanding of the basics of making a game in Dot Big Bang. The last room of the level is full of objects with no scripts attached to them at all. It's the perfect place to experiment with scripts you've seen in this game or to write new scripts of your own. Just click on any of the objects and add scripts as you like. The Intro to Magic game is a great starting point for learning how to make a game using Dot Big Bang. You can find it as one of the starting game templates on our website. If you have any questions or just want to chat with the devs or other creators, feel free to join us on Discord. Have fun making games!